Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art and I are sitting right next to one of those great philosophers of the 20th and 21st century, mm. the man who created the Embrace the Boom movement. Yes, it's he in person, Bill Jordan. Wow. Who can live up to that? <laughs> that was my I, I, man I, moment. Thanks for Bill, Bill, there are two things I really <laughs> admire about you. First of all, that you spell your last name correctly with an A. I do. Okay. I've always appreciated that. But also... Like my cousin, um, Michael. Yes. And we haven't... Uh, uh, we talk about it from time to time. But I want to thank you. Uh, uh, your Embrace the Boom book. And we talk about your philosophies all the time. But uh, I, uh, I pick it up from time to time. And um, I was um, reading... I have a little mark here. I was reading uh, Enhanced... Uh, the boom practice number seven, prioritize and execute. And it was uh, particularly important for me. And you have a really uh, pithy way of uh, uh, bringing these things across, not a, a whole bunch of flowery language. It's like, hey, he, here's something that could be important to you. Because I know that all of these things were important to you to write down. So I thank you for uh, helping me in, in, embrace things that I sh sometimes... Uh, don't spend much time on. Well, a, a lot of this is 15 slash 16, little secret 16th practice right. in here. <clears throat> uh, and the reason I call them practices and not rules is because we can never perfect these. <clears throat> and I've always loved quotes, motivational quotes and stuff. And they just kept weighing on me after I had retired from radio and I decided to put it in a book form. I've got a friend who's a, who's a publisher. He thought it might be a good idea for a book and it is pretty succinct pretty short book. I think you can read it. Well, I know you can read it in under an hour, but the beauty of the book and how I use my own book is I read from it every day. I read a practice from it every day. And it is stuff that we all know that, but we don't think about because some of them may be cliches. And I like to think that I may give you a different way to, to think about some of this stuff, whether it be the golden rule or an 80, 20 rule and, you know, kind of getting into a new year. I, I think at least for me, Throughout the year, New Year's, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, even Thanksgiving and, and then in Christmas, all of these are even when I'm on vacation, I tend to reset. Where do I think I am? Where do I want to be? Who do I want to be? And what do I what do I have to do to get there? And I for me, following the practices in my own book, I know that sounds egocentric. But following the practices that I've that I've put down, and I've borrowed from some of the greats, I mean ancient stoic philosophers and and other people on through history and some of my own thoughts um it it just helps me live a better life and I, I think i am calmer and um maybe more focused and i think it's allowed me to i hope and pray helping me to become a better example for whether it be my daughter or my grandkids so yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, Bill, um, in the beginning of the year, we all fool ourselves into thinking we're going to make a New Year's resolution and, you know, we're going to be better and we're going to do it. And you, uh, you bring up the, a really good point, and that is it's it's a daily process. It's not a beginning of the year process. And uh, I'm up on, let's see, right, my bookmark is number eight in your book right now. Be careful about giving up what you want most for what you want now. Right. Um, it, you know, this is a, a wonderful words to live by on any day, but you're right. Just going through the book, um, using it on a daily basis is a great way to change your life for the better. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I truly believe that. I, I, it's artistic, but... <clears throat> It's great. It's from great ideas through time. And cliches are cliches because they're true. We don't think about it anymore. Right. <clears throat> you know, it's right. not in the book, but birds of, birds of a feather flock together. What does that tell us? You know, you're going to become like the people you hang around. <clears throat> right. So are you going to hang around people who are making you better? Or are you going to be brought down to their level? You're going to be brought up to their level. Birds of a feather, uh, you know, flock together. That's a good one for, for kids as they're, as they're growing up. One that, uh, and I reference it in the book, uh, Tim Ferriss, who's a famous podcaster and writer, um, was asked in an interview a few years ago, 
uh, at the end of a year if he made New Year's resolutions, and he said he did not. But what he did was he looked at the people in his life, he applied the 80-20 rule to it, meaning, for example, 20% of your clients bring you 80% of your sales. Yeah. And this is like a rule that's passed through time. I mean, all kind of, you can apply it to all kinds of things. And it, he was like, what 20% of the people in my circle bring me 80% of my drama and headache and hassle? Yeah. And what 20% of my circle bring me 80% of my joy and my positivity and my laughter? And then he, when he can, because he can't always do it, <clears throat> then he adjusts accordingly. And it's little yeah. things that we can do, whether it's if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. That's one of the, the practices. And people talk about losing weight, which is the biggest thing that people try to change. When's the last time you got on a scale? How often yeah. do you weigh? And people always kind of hedge on that. Oh, I go by how my, my clothes fit. Why don't you just go to the scale? That's a little more accurate. And you'll find that it varies from day to day. Mine varies from day to day. And if you start creeping up, then, you know, you know to, to set back. And there's all kinds of ways to lose weight. See your doctor first and all that stuff. I'm a big fan of intermittent fasting, and it's kept me on track. Uh, I mean, I ended 2023 weighing less than I began 2023. Yeah. Um, so for me, that's, that's a win. You know? Well, the thing, the thing I appreciate about your book is that um, it really, you know, these, these uh, sayings, if you will, these practices are really, as you point out, kind of cliches, kind of, you know, that we've heard them before, but what you've done is you've added a couple of paragraphs of explanation, how you interpret them. And that's what it's all about. It's all about making you, making me, the viewer, think about these practices. Um, Everything and that's what we need to do. We need, we need to think about what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and thank then, you. And then apply it. Yeah, thank you for uh, by, by the way, no, 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 way I, to reset I, I, our I, lives. I, I need the final word on this thing, which, which is, you know, Bill, you were talking about, uh, you know, come and John about uh, coming up for the new year and making resolutions and getting to some significant times in your life where you may want to just review, you know, some of the basic things that you're doing or not. I find Thursday, Thursday is a good day for me. So I, I actually, I picked this up like almost every 15th Thursday. And uh, there you go. It, it's, it's, it's nice because it's on my bookshelf. And every so often, I just, I just reach for it, take a look at it, because we we enjoy our conversations with you. And I look, and I just take another look, and I, I find it remarkable and comforting that you have spent the time to put down things which should be basic for all of us. So thank you for that. Should be. I, I appreciate it. Again, I, I'm flattered by, I've got a couple of female friends who just keep a copy in, in their purse. I mean, it's kind of small. And, they, and when they're waiting in line for something, they'll pull it out instead of their phone. And just, you know, hit a couple of these. It's it, Again, you can read it from cover to cover, but I find it best if you just, you know, pick one a day yeah. and just work through it. And just and then I, actually, then I just rotate it. When I get through, I just rotate. And the gist of it at the end, and, I, and I'll let you in on the end of it, is to earn this life. By, mm -hmm. by living our best lives, That we, we give, we honor our parents who paved the way for us, the greatest generation. You know, in the, in the movie Private Ryan, I referenced at the end when, when uh, Tom Hanks' character is pulling Private Ryan in close, earn this. Guys mm -hmm. have died to save him. Earn right. this. And at the cemetery, when he is later in life visiting uh, Tom Hanks, the character, Captain John Miller's gravesite there above Omaha Beach in Normandy, and he turns to his wife and says, tell me I've been a good man. You know, mm -hmm. and she's like, and she doesn't get what's going on. But he's trying to, li trying to live his life in such a way that he earns the sacrifice of those before him. And that's kind of how I look at it with my parents and other members of the greatest generation yeah. through this book as baby boomers, we need to earn the life that they provided to us and we need to earn it every day. You know, uh, would Thanks. you do us a favor and would you uh, 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 take us out with your- Sure, well, well, before, before you do that, Bill, mm. it's not fair to the people watching uh. to talk about this without telling them how to get it. Well, you can get it primarily at Amazon.com. They're typically running it like 12% off. It may not be at the time of this showing, but uh, it's been 12%. It's not that expensive a book. I mean, I think 
you know, a few <laughs> copies at a high-end yeah. coffee place and you would have paid for this book. And I think the book will do you a little bit better. So Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, um, uh, you can get it that way. And then at uh, BillJordanEmbraceTheBoom.com, my own website, you can mm. order it there. Amazon is a little better price for you and it includes the shipping. But this is where you get the, the mug and it's 15, 16 ounces of whatever you want to put in it. Pretty sturdy. And I use this. I have my coffee every morning in this just to, again, anchor myself in the mindset, as John was talking about, starting with your thinking. Yeah. You, you anchor your day with this mug. You see it every day. It's on both sides. So maybe whoever's sitting across from you reads it. It's sort of like, what, what's that all about? And you can explain what Embrace the Boom means. That's at BillJordanEmbraceTheBoom.com. Free shipping on those, by the way. Okay. So will you now uh, take us out of this show? And do a toast, yes, for my fellow Amen. baby boomers. And wherever you might be in life, forget your age, live your life, and embrace the boom. Here, here. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.